This is Camp Kennedy. Hey, what's going on? Hanging out here at the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary. There's David. Wait, he's right there. Wave to Dave. All right, turn the camera around because Kyle's filming. He's helping me out. Well, well he doesn't want to that works. here. What, what? Yeah, David's got a lot of work to do. That, what's the cat's name? Bobby? Bobby. Yeah, Bobby, this cat's old. All right, so I figured, you know what? We're hanging out here. We need a bonus video. I didn't, um, I, I'm ill-prepared, to be honest, but I thought, why not do a bonus video with an indigo snake, which is a Florida native, and they're really a beautiful serpent. Uh, David, when did you get this snake? I think this one's like three years old. Yeah, all right, man. And these snakes are becoming increasingly rare here in uh, the state. Uh, they are protected, federally protected animal, and they're just one of my favorite snakes. They're really active, diurnal. These guys, you can kind of find them in gopher tortoise burrows from time to time. But, you know, you know a little bit more about their life history. So what are, what are these guys doing out there uh, in, the, in their habitat, Dave? Well, as you know, um, Kenan, indigo snakes are listed as a threatened species, and they have uh, disappeared greatly mm. throughout South Florida. A lot of it has to do with a few things. One, development has right. affected these. These guys do not do well with development. And the other thing, earlier on, um, the pet trade. Uh, the indigo snakes, because they are very, very gentle snakes in the wild, uh, you know, you can almost find one, pick it up, and it won't bite you. Yeah. Um, these guys were sold pretty heavily in the pet stores many, many years ago, and that led to their decline. No sense. So, you know, today, it's it's there are places that have indigos that people do see them, but I have to tell you, the last time I saw an indigo snake in the wild was 1995. No way, man. So that's incredible. 1995, 1995 for you, and you know, he spends a lot of time out there. I want to get a little closer so you can see the snake. It's a large-bodied snake. It's actually, um, I believe, this is the largest snake it's in North. In largest, North largest non-venomous snake in, in North America. Right. That's right. So, and this snake overpowers its prey. Uh, it's not necessarily a constrictor. It will grab on with its mouth, overpower its prey, and then swallow the animal whole like other snakes do. Um, just really something to hold. And then, you know, when you see the iridescence or you see the light uh, kind of reflect off this, of that. This snake is getting ready to go into shed too, right. so it, it, it does not do it justice. Yeah, it's not even the, the most prettiest phase of this animal's life cycle. So it's a really great snake, the indigo snake. This guy will grow much larger, won't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do we know if this is a male or a female? It was a male. This is a male. So uh, there you have it. Indigo snake, bonus video. Thanks, Dave. Just thought we'd do a quick vid. Hanging out here at the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary. We're going to put him back. You guys have a great afternoon. Thanks for the info, dude. Anytime. Uh-huh. Very good. See you later.